The introduction of Mesial's new Class 777 units brings Merseyside's long history of electric railways right up to date. These new units are set to replace the 1970s designed Class 507 and 508s. This video will recall the many and varied electric trains that have served Merseysiders for the last 130 years. Liverpool and Merseyside has long been a pioneer of electric traction, whether it was to solve certain operating difficulties or to combat competition. The very first electric trains to operate in Liverpool were those of the unique Liverpool Overhead Railway. Introduced with the opening of the line in 1893, these lightweight electrics operate in the 7 mile line 16 feet above the ground. Weight restrictions ruling out using heavy steam locomotives. The trains were built by the Electric Construction Company and subcontracted to Brown Marshall and Company Limited of Birmingham. One line that did use steam locomotives was the largely underground Mersey Railway. Although extraction fans were installed at the stations, they failed to fully clear the choking smoke. To solve this problem, electric trains were introduced to this line in May 1903. The Mersey lines were the first in England to operate fully on the electric multiple unit principle. Although the Central London Railway had some experimental sets in 1901 and prototype units in operation in early 1903, the Mersey Railway was the first to be fully converted to EMU operation. The American style trains were to be designed by the George Westinghouse Company. The bodies were built by G.F. Milnes of Shropshire. Whilst the electrical equipment was imported from the US, the trains fully assembled at Trafford Park in Manchester. The third system to go electric was the Lancaster and Yorkshire lines off the Louisville Exchange to Salport and Ormskirk. The need for electrics here was twofold. The commuter traffic was increasing and capacity was becoming an issue. The Lancashire and Yorkshire also saw the expanding Liverpool tramways would become serious competition to that lucrative commuter traffic. The first batch of units introduced was built by the Lancashire and Yorkshire at Newton Heath in 1904. These were 60 feet long and 10 feet wide with a tapered front end, later rebuilt to a flat front. In 1905 special lightweight stock was introduced to run a Salport to Dingle service over the overhead railway. A prototype was built by Dick Kerr of Preston, and the remaining 10 cars split between Newton Heath and Horwich. More units to the 1904 design were added in 1906. Yet more stock came in 1907 and 1908, and 1913 and 1914, these having very prominent jumper cables on the cap fronts. Some of the driving cars of this batch qualify as being the most ugly EMUs ever on Merseyside. The next stock to enter service on Merseyside lines was for the Mersey Railway. Additional stock to the 1903 design had been added in 1909, but stock to a brand new design was built by Cravens of Sheffield in 1923. This stock wasn't formed into complete trains, but added to the existing 1903 and 1909 stock to lengthen train sets. Additional stock to a similar design was added in 1936 by the Gloucester Railway Carriage and Wagon Company. In 1927, the LMS introduced 11 units of compartment stock. They were built by the Metropolitan Carriage and Wagon Company for the Liverpool lines out of Liberal Exchange, and was part of a joint order with the London lines. These gaining the nickname Limbergs after Charles Limberg, who completed the first transatlantic flight in 1927. The next new trains were for the 1938 LMS Wirral Lines electrification. Built jointly by Birmingham Railway Carriage and Wagon and Metro Camel, these were the first on a groundbreaking design that is largely perpetuated in EMU stock to this day. A truly modern design with clean lines and air-operated sliding doors. They were closely followed in 1939 by longer and wider stock for the Liverpool lines from Exchange. These units were built by the LMS themselves at Derby. Such was the suitability of the 1938 LMS Whittle Lines units that a second batch with only minor detailed differences was added in 1956 to replace the original Mersey Railway stock. The 1970s saw the linking up of the former separate Whittle Lines with those out of exchange, and new stock was soon ordered. This arrived in 1978 and with the Class 507 stock. 
Only 33 were built out of a much larger order for the Northern Line. A second order for the Widdle Lines was temporarily diverted to the Southern region, with an additional trailer added. These finally came to their intended lines in 1983, minus the extra trailer. Bringing the story right up to date is the new Class 777s. Introduced into passenger service on the 23rd of January 2023. Built by Stadler, these four car units are the first to feature level boarding on a mainline train in England. The completely open cars and fast, smooth, quiet ride is yet another advance in rail travel on Merseyside. What's everyone's first impressions? Managed to do right. The last 130 years of railways on Merseyside have seen many advances in electric trains, and the Class 777s have now joined that long list. Whilst many will be sad to see the 507 and 508s go, the new trains have now become part of Merseyside's continued innovation in electric railway history. <laughs> 